AI is really going to be part of pretty much every application we have around us. It's really going to be part and parcel of everything we do, just like the internet has changed things. Deep learning is in some sense not a product by itself. And so what's going to happen, I think, is that enterprises everywhere, applications all over the place, whether you know, you're running a data center or you're trying to you know, help someone um, you know, uh, with a self-driving car or you're trying to forecast uh, you know, what, what is going to happen with the weather or what kinds of crops are going to grow here and all these crazy things. All of those are going to gradually be feeling these ripple effects from AI. Big, high impact applications is obviously, this is a big enabler for robotics. So autonomous vehicles, that's, that's a big one. The speech recognition is really starting to work. It's a very useful interface. That, that's big. It's going now to natural language. You see that showing up with Alexa and, and Google's products. And, and so I, I call that ambient AI, where you can just ask questions and things happen. Medicine's a big one. Uh, you know, you're diagnosing problems. You can already see these things can often do better than a doctor in certain circumstances. They don't get distracted and they can ferret out very subtle patterns. Broadly, the advancements are going to come into what we like to call the Internet of Things. That would mean things like, uh, developing your service efficiencies, right? Uh, advancing your manufacturing capabilities, reducing scraps, uh, looking into your operation of the fleet, and that can happen all the way from small devices to very large devices like aviation aircraft. It's essentially, operational uh, efficiencies, uh, reducing cost of operations, increasing availability, all sorts of you know industry-facing scenarios, and I believe those are the ones that are going to be realized near term. Further out. There is whole scenario around consumer-oriented uh, capabilities. And I think we have started seeing some uh, successes in the area, but the big success would come when, as a person, I can essentially look into an integrated environment that I can be interacting with seamlessly. And that would that's a little bit further down the line, mainly owing to, one, the lack of penetration of these devices, and second, I think we still have to address a lot of interoperability constraints when it comes to these different environments that we work with.